What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. I just got to the gym right now. I'm going to be training some legs. I have all the energy in the world. I recently was doing an unlimited month of Pilates. That's why, I think I mentioned it in a previous video. That's why I haven't been doing too much weightlifting. But the unlimited month is now over. So we're going to get right back to it. We're in the gym. At my gym, Iron Empire. Going to be training with Vika today. Well, kind of. She's going to be here. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm going to start off with some stretching and a little bit of warm up and let's just get right into it. What's going on everybody and welcome to today's workout commentary. This workout was awesome and what you guys just saw was Sport Aminos by 1UP Nutrition. It's basically an amino energy supplement and I like to drink it during HIT or leg day and I haven't drank it for a little while and oh my gosh, it this workout was just so, so good because I had so much energy and I felt amazing and yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys if you're looking to add something with a little bit of energy that's not quite pre-workout into your routine. But this workout makes me very happy and I'm definitely going to be doing this exact same one again so I hope that you guys enjoy it. So to start off, always start with some stretching and then these are some glute activation exercises. I did three sets of each before I got into the workout which started with this circuit. So I was holding a kettlebell at my chest and was doing kettlebell alternating lunges. So I lunged to the left, lunged to the right. I did 20 reps of those, making sure to push through my heels and squeeze my glutes at the top. And then we went into some kettlebell squat Romanian deadlifts. So what you do here is you perform a squat and then you bring your hips and your butt up, just your butt and your hips. So keep your back bent and do a Romanian deadlift. That is one rep. So squat Romanian deadlift and that is one rep. Moving on, I decided to do something a little bit higher paced or higher intensity, and that is some kettlebell swings. So I personally do like to get in a little micro squat here just to work my hamstrings and my glutes a little bit more because I like to do kettlebell swings as a part of my lower body conditioning days. So make sure that you do an ugly squeeze of the booty at the top. Keep your core engaged so that you also work your upper body and your abs because it is a full body exercise. And to finish off the circuit, I did some wide to narrow jump squats with pulse. So as you can see, I'm always keeping a slight bend in the legs and doing a pulse at the wide stance and pulse at the narrow stance. Pulse, sorry, the wide and the narrow is one rep, so do 20 of those. All the reps and the sets will be written in the description box, as always, for you guys, so you can just go screenshot it. Then I did some elevated barbell stationary lunges. So I just grabbed this little step up and I put some dumbbells just so that it wouldn't slide. And I did some stationary lunges. So I did one leg at a time, did the left, and then I did the right. And you wanna make sure that you're coming down as low as you can while not bringing your knee above your hip. So the elevation is for a larger range of motion and oh boy, did I ever feel that. It felt really good. Then we moved on to a super set, which was barbell hip thrusts and side to side glute kickbacks. So I personally don't go too heavy with hip thrusts. I know that some people do like 300 pounds with pounds, which is absolutely wild, but it hurts my hips and it doesn't feel good in that area, especially when I'm pushing like that much weight. I don't know. If it feels good for you, then do it. But if it doesn't, don't feel like you need to do 300 pounds to grow your glutes. Just make sure that you focus on time under tension. So squeezing them for three counts down and squeezing them for three counts at the top. And then the side to side glute kickbacks, I had some ankle weights. But if you don't have ankle weights, that is A-OK. -okay. After she recorded this, I ended up doing, so I was doing this side to side, and then I ended up doing 10 on the one side before I switched to the other leg, and I really liked that. So add that in there if you're looking for an extra challenge. That last one is really good, guys. If you don't have uh, ankle weights, then you can just do body weight, it'll burn, I promise. So that is it for the booty workout and now I'm gonna do a couple ab exercises. What was that? 
what was that? <laughs> now we are moving on to the ab circuit. So there's four exercises in this circuit. The first exercise is some leg raises. I want you guys to make sure that your core is engaged, you're lifting with your lower abs, not your hips, and you're not just letting your legs fall down to the ground because that is not having control and you're not working your abs as much as you could. Then you're going to flip over and do some plank ups. So make sure that you're squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes, and you're planking up alternating arms. Do 20 of those and then do some plank jump ins. And these are a lot harder than they look. Mine are not so graceful. Um, so what you're supposed to do here is be in a plank and jump your feet in between your hands. And the last exercise, I apologize, I was a little bit too far out of the clip for this one, but it is a plank toe tap. So hold your plank and tap your foot out to the left and your foot out to the right. How was that ab workout? <laughs> Good. <laughs> you look like you're crying. <laughs> I know. Oh, don't mind me, guys. I'm a hot mess. But maybe you could do the last set with me because that's how I got through it. Ooh. That was hard. It's good. Yeah, feeling amazing. Comment below if you try this workout. Let me know what you think. And now I'm having one piece of gluten free bread with a quarter of an avocado, pink salt, and black sesame seeds. Back at home from the gym now. Oh my gosh, you guys, that workout was so freaking good. My hair is so dirty that it's literally in a bun without me even like putting a hair tie in it. <laughs> so don't mind me, I'm just gonna leave my hat on. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. It's hair washing day, obviously after leg day. Um, but this outfit is new anyways, so it's probably why I also had an awesome workout. Live Fit Structured Cap and the Never Quit Tee. It says never quit on the back. It comes in a bunch of different colors, like there's black and pink, which is amazing. Pink is my favorite color. And Live Fit is starting to come out with like more pink and girly colors, so that makes me happy. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a life update. Something very exciting is happening. So quick recap, watch this clip. It's a very exciting day because <laughs> I'm hanging out with my two girlfriends, Stella and Jess, <laughs> and we are doing something very exciting. I am shopping for my first apartment, you guys. I move in February 1st, and I'm so, so excited for this new chapter in my life and to share it all with you guys and just explain to you what's going on in my life right now, but get excited. We're going to look at like, I can't believe I'm out with these people. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no photography. <please. laughs> so, yes. This is something that I've been waiting for for a very long time and I'm so excited that the day is almost here. Long story short, I have been in the process of trying to get my visa to move down to LA for quite some time now and I don't want to really go into depth there. Like if it happens, it happens and I'll share with I'll share the process after I have done it. But just know that that is where I see myself, that is my happy place, that is where I want to build my life. And I've um, been in touch with a lawyer and actively working towards uh, that goal, trying to make that happen. But it's not easy. I need to live my life, take the next step, and when the visa comes, it'll add to my life and it'll be like a bonus. So I decided to move out while I'm in Calgary and just get my own place. I'm just really pumped for this next step in my life to be doing something that I've wanted for a really long time. I'm such an impatient person and I have worked so hard to create a life that I love. So when I feel like I'm frustrated or I'm not taking active steps towards where I want to be, I'm frustrated and uh, just in a way hanging out in this transitional phase and not getting my own place and doing that has been... Um, me not actively working towards what I want, if that makes sense. So anyways, we're gonna go check out the place today. I hope that you guys are pumped. I'll do a little house tour, show you guys it, and then obviously I'll show you guys it as I decorate it and make it my home. So I hope that you guys are as pumped as I am. And that is my very exciting news. Body in my, 
sitting down to eat you guys I can't believe this is happening I'm so excited this is what I'm gonna eat I'm tired now <laughs> so I have some zucchini asparagus onion and mushrooms with a little bit of peanut sauce and then this is basa with a Cajun uh, seasoning all right, my friends, so I'm probably going to end this video somewhat shortly here. That's going to be it for the talking anyways, because I know that it is getting long. I'm going to be making a couple more things, definitely my smoothie. It was in my last video if you saw that, but I am so in love with this smoothie right now. So I'll show you guys that and a couple of the other things that I eat tonight just so that you see them. But the talking is going to end here because I know that the video is getting long. So I just wanted to finish off by saying thank you guys so much for all of your support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And also, if you want something in life, make it happen. Stop waiting for the perfect time or a sign that it's the right time or just waiting. Just stop waiting in general. We always want to make sure that we're progressing forward and we're making progress. And we always want to be able to say that we're proud of who we are and how far we've come and what we're doing in life. So if there is something that you want to achieve, Go out there, make it happen, stop waiting around. That's how I'm going to live my life. I'm going to share that with you guys, and I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the food clips, and I will catch you in the next one.